everyone. Welcome back to How To Tuesday. Well, in a few days, we're going to celebrate one of the sweetest, loveliest holidays of them all, Valentine's Day. And you might remember getting some really cute little candies that had cute messages on them like, Be Mine or You're So Sweet. So this week, I'll show you how to make felt versions of one of our favorite Valentine's Day candies. To make your felt heart candy valentines, you'll need heart shapes cut out in different colors of felt, or you can use the same color if you like. And you'll also need embroidery floss and an embroidery needle. To begin, you can use a pencil or a marker to lightly trace the word that you would like to embroider onto your heart. So I am going to embroider love. I'll lightly trace. And that way, it'll be easy for me to embroider the word. I'm going to embroider using a back stitch. And if you've never back stitched before, it's quite simple. Using your knotted floss, you'll take your needle and come up from underneath. And then you'll go right back down underneath where you came up from. Now here's where the back stitch differs from a running stitch. Instead of coming up right beside the stitch you just made, you'll come up a little bit ahead, leaving a space. And then what I'll do is take my needle and I'll go right back into the previous stitch. This way I create a nice line of stitches that really can't be broken apart. So now I'll continue that for the rest of my love on my heart. I'm finishing up the last stitch on my E and I'm going to end this the same way that I end everything with a balloon knot. So underneath I take my needle and go through some of the stitches just as though I'm making a regular stitch. I leave a little loop, take my needle and put it through the loop and then pull tightly. And then what you can do is just cut that and now we're going to put this together with another of the felt hearts because you don't want to give someone a valentine that has all these crazy stitches on the other side. So you take your felt heart and you place it just over top of the wrong side of the stitches. And you can use the piece of floss that you were using to embroider or a different one, whichever you choose. And we're going to use that to stitch this together. So this is going to be done using a whip stitch. So with the whip stitch, you take your needle and starting on the inside here, because that's where we're going to hide our knot. We're just going to go inside and then tuck the knot in like that. We'll then do the whip stitch all the way around the heart. So that means we're coming through both layers, the yellow and the pink. And then we're just using that stitch to whip around just like that. And this is how we're going to attach our front to the back on our felt valentine candy. Now here I'm coming up on what should be the last stitch of my heart and technically it is what I'm going to do is make a balloon knot right here in the middle And I'm going to leave my string nice and long because this is going to let me do a few things with my heart. I can dangle it like this so that it kind of hangs in my house and just welcomes love. Or you can do what I'm going to do and use it as a gift tag on a valentine that I'm going to give someone. So watch what I do with this now. Here I have a large fabric square and it measures about 8 inches by 8 inches. And now what I'm going to do is with my heart still attached to my needle and floss, I'm going to do a running stitch that goes all the way around the square. And I'm going to start that on the pretty side of the fabric. So I'm just going to take my needle and do a running stitch all the way around. Here I am at the end of my running stitch and if you can see here I'm just beside where I started. My fabric has now taken on kind of a bunchy bowl appearance because my stitches have pulled it in together. 
And we want that because now what we're going to do is fill this little hole with sweet treats for my Valentine. Lots and lots of little goodies. So now what I'll do is I'll take my two ends of my embroidery floss and I'm going to pull it closed just like that. And when I pull it tight, I want my tag to be attached right here. And then I'll just tie this into a little bow. Be sure to join us soon on another edition of How To Tuesday.